Welcome everyone. I'm uh, Fabrizio Massara. Uh, together I'm presenting in behalf of Adelaide Ramassotto and Fabrizio Provera today. Uh, we will try, we will see, um, I will try to, to show you some, uh, some data that uh, we gathered and are displaying about uh, Turin in Italy. Um, I am uh, from CSI Piemonte. That uh, is, a, is a company that serve for that uh, service for uh, um, public uh, administrations, and uh, uh, is uh, was yeah yes okay founded uh, in 1977 uh, in the Piedmont region. Uh, today we have uh, more than 100 public uh, stakeholders, uh, province, municipalities, and so on. Uh, this uh, the data. Of, uh, I will show you today is about the municipality of Turin, that is a, um, a city in northern Italy. Here, this is a picture, of, of course. Um, it's the former capital of Piedmont. Uh, the, the only thing uh, that, I, that I show you are not uh, some numbers, but uh, we are talking uh, about uh, uh, 330,000 buildings uh, in, uh, in the metropolitan area. We were here. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the Phosphor-G three years ago in, uh, in Bonn, when uh, we showed uh, this, uh, this same slide and, uh, and the next one, to show our previous work that uh, starting in 2010, our work were uh, intended to try to visualize a large number of, of buildings uh, in a browser, in uh, Google Art first, uh, uh, first, first uh, in a, in a Java, Java application with OpenGL, then in Google Art, and uh, then we participated to, to the Web 3D City modeling competition, when, uh, where we adopted an earlier version of Cesium JS, and uh, the, the same uh, we made trying to display buildings in Google Art. Uh, 2010, 2011, 2014, I must tell you that uh, we were not able to do it or the results were not uh, very good in terms of performance and so on. In 2016, uh, we presented the, the same uh, Dimmer project in, uh, in, in Bonn, where we started to adopt uh, Cesium JS and uh, we represented the urban areas, a, a small part of the urban areas of Turing and Manchester with the uh, beta version of 3D tiles. These were the results we were able to show at the time. You can see we followed uh, with four level of details uh, the, the, the structure of a building in Turing, this is. Sorry. This was uh, what uh, we were able to do at the time. For us, was a great success. This is uh, a BAM model exported in uh, GBX HTML and uh, then uh, translated in, uh, in 3D tiles, uh, how I was saying, in uh, an earlier version of it. We are talking about uh, uh, Cesium JS 1.25 beta. There was no official support of 3D ties, but uh, we were able to do so. This is uh, another example for the 2016 uh, uh, project. This is uh, um, another, another building uh, when you can see that uh, we adopted the CTGML proposed uh, differentiations of uh, LODs, so the structure the roofs, uh, LOD3 when uh, arrives, arri are arriving uh, windows and doors, uh, and in LOD4 we remove the roofs uh, to allow to see inside the building uh, the, uh, the, the items that we, are, we were looking into, that are the sensors that were registering uh, uh, data that we were showing uh, in real time. So this is the last uh, a slide from uh, uh, 2016, you can see the, the flow was from the BIM service at, uh, at, uh, at the time via an export in GBX HTML 
there was a custom converter that allows that allowed us to generate the season GS3 tiles. Okay, stop with the, the old stuff. I'm changing slightly uh, the the slide to show you what uh, uh, we have uh, done uh, today and what are we showing you today. Um, Fabrizio Provera with uh, his, uh, his good work in, uh, in his for, uh, for his master thesis, uh, try to, to say, let's go to, to uh, interpret and output the full EFC model, not only the GBS HML. It's a long road. We, we went uh, uh, along uh, that road, and now we can say that we have almost uh, better results that uh, we have seen before. You can see partially completed the, the EFC model. In this case, is a school, a school in Settimo Torinese, with Cesium uh, JS 1.60 this time, with full uh, 3D tie supports, GLTF uh, 2.0, and uh, all bells and whistles. This is another school. This is the school Puffy in kindergarten, even uh, in uh, LD3. And then uh, we like uh, very much uh, 3D ties technology. And so we try to, to see point clouds and, uh, and uh, SFM support. So we tested some, uh, some models. And uh, there were some problems uh, trying to, to replicate uh, some buildings uh, with, uh, with photogrammetry. So we tried to, to, to pick the most uh, difficult uh, subjects to show. This is a, um, a, a monument. Conte Verde means uh, Green Count is uh, in the central uh, in, uh, in a central uh, place uh, of uh, of Turin. You can see maybe in a, I will show you anyway. All the details are represented. The statue is a bronze statue. We had no problems. Uh, with photogrammetry in this case because we think it was uh, a little dirty. This is another difficult model. Is uh, the Fresh Tunnel Memorial. Very, very difficult because there are a lot of, of uh, stones, uh, a lot of statues and, uh, and something else. And this is another example. This is a, a, a plaque entitled to Vittorio Emanuele II was a, a, former, a former king, when uh, you can see that we tested uh, some annotations, not only made uh, with the classification like uh, Season GS allows uh, at this day. Anyway, we, we tested this uh, kind of annotations to show pop-ups, uh, HTML, and uh, first of all, our intention was uh, to translate uh, the inscriptions in various languages, inscriptions or, or attributes or description, what, uh, what else uh, you can say. We have uh, also a low scale model. Don't expect uh, something like, uh, like uh, you do in, uh, in Germany or, uh, or so on, I've seen. We have a low scale model that we tested of, uh, of the city. You can see there are some glitches in other parts, but we were able to to meet uh, the, 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 the scale model taken from uh, aerial photographs uh, with the, the extrusion in LOD1 of, uh, of the model of the city so that we can do classifications on the mesh of uh, the city model. Because when you have a, a mesh of a city model, you don't know which is uh, the building, where is, uh, where is the data. Having the, the extrusion and the, the footprints of every building, you can do some comparison, some ex data extraction, even uh, some uh, optimization on it. So what we used in, uh, in input, uh, we have data from the administrations, uh, public administrations. This data is in every, in every sort of, uh, of format anyway. GeoJ is on shape, post JS, what you, what you, what you thinking of. Um, the BIM uh, data is uh, in EFSC, Industry Foundation Classes uh, format. 
and uh, the data for uh, the building of uh, the, the SFM uh, strata for motion data is of source, of course, uh, in uh, their pictures, so JPEG, PNG, what uh, the modern uh, uh, photographs uh, um, camera can, uh, can output. With the, the, the data is, uh, has been uh, managed with QGIS, uh, long live QGIS, Visual SFM when, uh, when we could, Hedgesoft, Hedgesoft Metashape is the only closed source uh, and uh, commercial uh, tool, but uh, you can do everything in Visual SFM and anyway, we tested some, some differences. We were, uh, we were, um, we think Visual SFM is very good. Edges of Metashape helps uh, in, uh, in doing other jobs. MeshLab, that is uh, in cloud compare to, to, to modify, optimize some meshes, even if uh, the work has not been done uh, strongly because uh, we, 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 we didn't uh, uh, modify the, the meshes uh, very much. And then uh, system JS for its visualization and jQuery for uh, the the live part uh, in uh, system JS to to intervene where is needed. The output will uh, will are are and where three D ties CDGML and OGC formats of course. I wanted to show you uh, this slide because. Uh, uh, the parsing of the EFC model uh, is output uh, from uh, Revit mainly, from uh, the department of, uh, of uh, this, uh, of uh, Polytechnic of Turin that uses Revit. Um, you can export the EFC model. This is uh, uh, one slide to show you the different kind of elements uh, that, were, uh, that uh, were present in uh, the two models uh, that I show you. Rodari, school Rodari, and uh, Kindergarten Fleming. Um, you see, for example, that there are 22 uh, slab, 52 walls, 260 windows, doors, etc. Every of these elements needs uh, uh, a dedicated uh, procedure the, to, to extract uh, the different parts, uh, attributes, uh, and geometry. Every element uh, as a different represent geometric representation for, for, for uh, who of you that knows the step file format, we cover the 90% of uh, the, the representation. We are trying to, to close the work uh, and to, to be able to represent the full BIM model in Cesium or in, uh, other, other, uh, in other viewers. Uh, remember that we have uh, a uh, Java 2 enterprise uh, uh, stack, so we are not dealing with uh, uh, C++ libraries and so on, so we stick uh, in, uh, in doing everything live, uh, eventually only cached the, the EFC to 3D tiles uh, um, conversion is, done, is down live in a J2 enterprise edition stack. Okay. The results, we were here three years ago. We were uh, hoping that uh, the 3D ties, uh, um, standard were, uh, could, uh, could, uh, could develop, could, uh, could, could, be, could have a future. Now we, are, we, we, are, we can say that after three years, uh, the 3D tiles uh, are a very, a very good implementation. We are very good for it, with it. We wanted uh, we, we want to, to complete the, the geometry conversion procedures. We are trying, I, have, I don't know if I have a, a slide here. Anyway, why one of our, yes, one of our, this is, was uh, the Dimmer project, it was based on Cesium. Anyway, the Dimmer project uh, uh, dealt with uh, the energy consumption and uh, energy distribution inside the pipes that you see on uh, on the left uh, on the left part. This was done with the server side uh, APIs. Uh, we we are trying. We we would like to 
uh, to adapt the, new, the incoming uh, CTGML features uh, like dynamizers. We, we will try to, to interface with them uh, as soon as possible because we have a lot of dynamic data, not only consumption, but uh, data, uh, open API, traffic data, and so on. And uh, we are here, as we promised three years ago, but uh, uh, a lot of times has passed, I know, to uh, publish uh, these uh, routines uh, that are the, the, the city GML converters that takes uh, GeoJSON on, on, and so on, shapes and so on, and outputs uh, city GML, we hope, uh, version 3, and uh, the EFC utils. Uh, you see, I'm sorry, incoming and bug fixing because they are not uh, very, very decent. We are arranging them. We wanted to bug fix and uh, present the 95% of, uh, of the EFC element covered. Anyway, if you have uh, some EFC, if you like uh, uh, some of our, our representations, if you have your EFC, uh, you can contact us and we, we will try to to give you uh, an advanced alpha or beta version to, to try it because we need use cases. We need to have uh, more use cases to to, uh, to cover more elements to 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 convert because we can uh, we can implement the full uh, the full EFC API so it's too too big. Um, Okay, you can find, you will find, sorry, for now, github.com CSI Piemonte has a lot of other open source projects. Uh, you will find uh, CTGML and EFC converters in, uh, I think, uh, in, uh, in, in some weeks or months. Uh, you can contact as uh, this, uh, uh, this address. I would like to show you while there will be the eventual questions, a small video, because we try to, to go live, but uh, there is something that uh, is not going well with this uh, PC. I, I must assure you that you can, you can play this, uh, this application in your, uh, in your phone, so uh, 3D ties are effective. These are the LOD uh, buildings uh, at level one. You can see the, the attributes that come in from the 3D tiles. Now we are, uh, we are showing, uh, okay, this is uh, the photogrammetric molder taken from uh, the orthographic, uh, um, not specialized, it's all only made for uh, the 2008 flight uh, uh, orthophotos. You can see that, uh, I don't know how to stop it, anyway, you can see that um, the, the, the white the way parts are the differences between the extrusions. So the footprints extruded by the height uh, with, the, with the data in uh, ownership of, uh, uh, of the city Turing municipality with the real, um, the, the real uh, SFM from, uh, from the, the, the flight, from the photographic photo photogrammetic flight. Uh, this uh, is what I was saying uh, that allows you to have uh, attributes uh, that come from uh, the underlying extrusion in LOD1. And so we, we are able to classify and uh, uh, propagate the attributes to parts of the mesh. We think uh, of uh, uh, the task of uh, representing and building the 3D model is a, is a huge one. We don't have uh, enough resources uh, for that. So. Um, we think to split in chunks uh, like Edgesoft uh, um, photo uh, meta shape allows us and uh, speed uh, the process. At the same time, if we know how to split in chunks, we will try not to break the building enough, but we will try to follow the, the street pattern. Uh, we, we will have a model that can put together uh, safely and uh, we will gain uh, all the attributes. This is uh, the, uh, a ground street photogrammetry I made with a small camera. I, I think 60 pictures of the, of, uh, of to, to build it. Uh, 
allow me that uh, you will find the model very detailed uh, where I could shot the, pho the photograph. Uh, I couldn't arrive high because I then didn't have uh, uh, something to go there and we can, we can fly in, uh, in the city. So we, can, we couldn't put a drone, but uh, professionals can do it. You can see that you can read uh, everything. Maybe now I'm trying to put uh, the, the pop-up with the informations. Now I'm trying to show you even the details on the bronze statue. You will see, as I was saying, the, it was fortunate that the, the, the statue was, uh, was old and dirty because we couldn't have uh, the metal with this detail. What is, uh, I think my, my time is expiring, what is uh, important in all this? That you are saying, that you are seeing a photogrammetric mo metric model uh, a load one, uh, you see the, the <coughs> a load one model uh, integrated, and another three tiles that is only dedicated to this statue, all in the same uh, cesium uh, model. This is another the the the, the picture I was showing before, the Frejus Frejus made of of stones and uh, uh, and the statues. They are all loaded in the same environment because uh, with the three tile principles. The other parts that are not here are unloaded from, from the memory, so are not here to, to complicate uh, our work and the work of the, of the graphic machine. Uh, I think that's all. I showed you classification. Maybe now are arriving uh, the BAM models, but I think that uh, we can go with the questions. We will leave uh, the, the video behind. Thank you. Okay, thanks Fabrizio. Does, does anyone have any questions? Oh, thank you. A very interesting presentation. Could you go back to the slide which explained the conversion from IFC to yes. GBXML and so on? Yes, it's a, it's a high level uh, explanation, but I can go deeper as you want. So, so my question is, uh, Probably you tried the several different types of the standard for building, like IFC, GBXML, and CTGML. Yes. Could you give us brief comparison about between them? So particularly Be between GBXML and CTGML. Okay, GBXML is an interchange uh, exchange format that uh, BIM um, considers uh, for the interface uh, to uh, tools uh, that. that uh, thermal um, computations and so on. So you you have seen uh, the the f you you output uh, the only 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 the external if you want even internal but only walls internal walls roofs and uh, uh, openings that are doors and uh, this is what is needed to these tools uh, as of three years ago to do the the task. I know that uh, there is something about the GBHML that uh, is going on, but uh, the, the importance of having uh, a full uh, EFC model is that uh, in the exportation you have solids and not, uh, not polygons anyway, and uh, you have of heavy component uh, the thermal informations, uh, the, the, the material, the transmissive, uh, the transmissive uh, um, factors, uh, and so on. So, even if the EFC is uh, too big for uh, the, the tool uh, the to do computations, uh, you can do a lot of things uh, with that. We, this, this is, uh, apart from the touristic uh, in informations that could have monuments, uh, this will be used by the, um, by the municipality because uh, now they are working with the, the plans that comes out from the EFC model, like uh, in AutoCAD, in drawings. And they move uh, features, uh, elements uh, on them. Uh, now they are asking us to, uh, to, to work on the 3D model. And as I was, uh, as I was saying uh, to you, we, do, uh, we, we are able in the EFC, that is a textual uh, file, 
to modify some at limited attributes of the elements, like position, and position for now. So if they have uh, a, a, a certain feature, a desk or something like that, that is in the 3D model, we can allow them to edit the feature and we can update the, the, the feature position for others. We work on file system for now. We don't have a full BIMS, BIM service implemented because uh, it would need a, a database. I don't know if it was enough. Yes. That I'd like to know about between CDXML and CTGML. Uh, maybe, maybe you can catch up after, because if there's one super quick other question. Yes, please. Yeah. No. No, actually not. We are going towards uh, CTGML. We will publish uh, our, our, uh, our uh, applications, uh, our uh, uh, libraries, I, can, I would say, uh, to go towards CTGML. No, we, we, simply because uh, uh, I know that CTGML is a, an, uh, a storing, archiving uh, format for a lot of cities, uh, but not in Italy. We have no CTGML uh, open data available. We are trying to publish, the, to, to generate them in, so that uh, the municipalities can publish them. Okay, um, thanks everyone. Just for the recording, that question was about a converter between CTGML and 3D tiles, and apparently there are no at the moment. No. Cool, thanks everyone. So it's five minutes to go to your next session or stay here, by all means. That would be great. Um, Thank you very much.